Hi guys, it's Belinda and it is uh, January the 5th, 2015. I want to make a quick video. It's pretty much a rant video because I'm agitated. But um, I'll try to make it quick if I can. Um, have you seen my Facebook uh, today? You guys knew I was going to uh, Aspen Dental to... Um, have an impression made. So there's two right here. And it's been like that for over a year because I have gum disease. So my gums are messed up and won't be getting any better. And one day I'll probably have to have false teeth upper and bottom. But the dentist said I could try to keep a hold of the teeth I have for maybe five or six more years or so. But I digress anyway. Point being, I went today uh, but let's go back. I started this process about four months ago, and um, the deal was I would the tooth would be four hundred and twenty eight dollars. My insurance covered it, but half of it would be two hundred fifteen of it would be cash that I had to pay by a certain date, and the other part would be on what they call an in house. Uh, Financing through a, a card uh, called Genesis, which I got approved for, no problem. So over the, la uh, the last couple months, I've been paying ten here, twenty there. You know, I'm a poor person, you know, so I can't just come up with four hundred and thirty dollars, you know, out of my butt. <laughs> so anyway, um, I went today to do to pay the last bit, of the, pay the last forty five dollars on it, and get the impression done. Well, they uh, looked at my card and said that my um, dual complete through United Healthcare, which I'm sure you guys don't know anything about, but um, they were saying that it had been uh, terminated and I no longer had it. Well, Aspen Dental doesn't take anything but dual complete. So obviously I was a little upset. So um, I went out in the park a lot and called my insurance company. And they said that they're not the ones that had anything to do with fixing that. So, um, they said he'd call Medi Medicaid because I'm on Medicare and Medicaid through my disability and SSI uh, check that I get every month, which I'm not sure if some of you guys know that I am have COP COPD and a bunch of breathing problems and apnea and all that good stuff um, and bulging discs, just a bunch of different things that would qualify me to be dis disabled. But anyway, they said they couldn't do anything about it, so they had me call Medicaid and I was on, on hold to talk to them for over an hour and 10 minutes. And then when I got a hold of them, they said that they're not the right place that they sent me to Medicare. So I called Medicare and they were saying that it was showing that I had it, but it wasn't terminated. It, I was disenrolled, which there's a big difference between being disenrolled and terminated. And um, but she said there wasn't nothing I could do. I had to call my plan, which is my insurance. So back to my insurance second phone call um finally got someone on there i knew what the hell they were doing it was a what they call a plan supervisor so she got on there and uh was telling me um what the problem was what it was was a couple weeks ago they had sent me out a medicaid card they didn't say dual complete on it the medicare is the one that the dual complete is through so I didn't have that card and when I come home I did in the mail okay uh, by this point I was extremely frustrated and I cussed a, a few of them out because nobody likes to get the runaround and I was very excited about getting the impression done today because that meant that I could probably have the tooth by the end of the week and I don't unless you I don't want to seem ungrateful. I don't want to seem... I don't know. This is very disconcerting and uncomfortable when I'm out in public. And even when I'm making videos, I try not to talk too wide because I don't want to show it. Because it's embarrassing. I mean, at least it embarrasses me. It makes me feel uncomfortable. This tooth makes me... Uh, this missing tooth makes me feel worse than me being heavy set, which I still consider myself heavy set. But that ought to tell you something, because <laughs> it is what it is, right? 
But anyway, um, we got it squared away, and I calmed down. By the way, by the time I got to my parents' house and we got it squared out, my blood pressure, my parents took my blood pressure because my face was really red and I was extremely upset. Um, it was uh, 148 over 95. So, it, cause mine's never that high. Mine's usually about 110, 115 over like 170. So, you know, in a normal range. So, it was up. They had pissed me off because, excuse me, I'm about to say my language. I told one of them, I said, why don't you get your head out of your ass and do your fucking job? I said... There's no reason why I've had to be taking care of this for three hours trying to get this straightened out when it's not even my fault. Of course, I apologize later. But anyway, when I got home and saw the card, I called Aspen Dental and um, she said, yeah, she goes, I just got off the phone with them and talked to another representative and they told me what the problem was. And she goes, uh, but we have to tell you that the prices went up. All right. I thought, okay, the price went up by maybe thirty to fifty dollars. No big deal. I could handle that. No, the prices went from four twenty eight to five hundred and ninety four dollars. At that point, my heart sank and I started to well up in tears and I started crying because I couldn't. I couldn't believe that it was going to be that much. And like I said, I'm not rich and I can't just handing out this money and I've waited this long and I'm so close to getting it now I, I mean I don't know if I want to spend out that kind of money for one tooth but it's like my friend Cash and she's on her Cashina Mobley she said it really just depends on how important it is to me and it is important to me you know it's I don't want to be vain but I mean if this tooth was in the back where nobody could see it I wouldn't give a shit. But this tooth is out front. Just like my face is out front. It's the first thing everybody sees. You know, they're going to see. They see that. And they're going to think, you know, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't take care of what people think about me. I'm sure they see that and they think I'm just a redneck hillbilly from Tennessee who, you know, is inbred, sleeps with her cousins and, you know, and just all this horrible things you hear. And, oh, my God, it's almost seven, ugh, over seven minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, so we're talking about a $166 difference for this one freaking tooth. And obviously, I mean, I didn't get to do any of my, my the challenge, the bathroom challenge for my back on track, uh, group on Facebook. I didn't get to do that today because I was so upset. And let me tell you, today was a day where I, I wanted a soda. I didn't want it. I needed it. And I came real close to getting one, but I didn't. You know, because I'm trying real hard not to, to drink them. But today, whew, pushed me to my limit of what I could what I could do and what I could handle to not let that be a trigger for me to fall back into that soda. So, I'm proud of myself for that, but it doesn't change the fact that I, just, I don't know what to do about this whole tooth thing. You know? I'm going to call tomorrow, though. I talked to Chuck about it, and um, I'm going to request a copy of any paperwork that I signed to make sure that it doesn't state in there that they that the contract is subject to change at any time they like. Because, you know, some people, excuse me, like to put that in contracts, which means I have to deal with it. And the other thing is I want to find out exactly when they made the financial changes and, pr and bumped up the price. And depending on what they say to me about that, I'm probably going to go somewhere else and see if I, I'm going to do some research if I can't find somewhere else cheaper, or at least what the price that I was quoted already. And plus, you know, I've already given them $170, but they tell me that if I decide not to go through with it, I have to wait three to four weeks to get that $170 back. That pissed me off too. So I have an appointment with Aspen Dental to go back on the 14th to re-sign up for the Genesis card. See, that's another thing. When I sign up for the Genesis card, I may not be I may not be eligible to get the amount of money that I need on that card to be able to cover the other three hundred dollars. So I don't know. I'm sorry. This is almost ten minutes. I appreciate y'all listening. And if you, at any point you want to exit out of it, you know I completely understand. I just had to get this on video and just blab but 
I appreciate it, guys, and I'll, well, I'll keep you updated like you want to know about some freaking dentist shit, but I'll, well, I'll probably do it anyway. And excuse all my bad language and attitude. I'm sorry. I don't know if I'm going to put this on Facebook, but I'm for sure putting it on YouTube, and I'm so, so sorry that the video was this long. And if you stuck through to the end, thank you very much. Bye, guys. I love you. Never mind. I'll talk to you guys later.